Welcome to Space Row. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we will see about Moon and Ketu in sixth house. In Vedic astrology, the placement of the Moon and Ketu in the sixth house of a person's birth chart can have various effects on their life and personality. However, it's important to remember that the interpretation of astrological placements is a complex and nuanced endeavor. Here's a general overview of what this placement could indicate. One moon in the sixth house asterisk the moon represents emotions, mind, and the subconscious. When placed in the sixth house, it can bring a strong focus on health, work, daily routines, and service to others. This placement may indicate emotional satisfaction derived from being of service and helping others. However, there might also be a tendency to be overly concerned about small details and potential health issues. 2. Ketua in the 6th house asterisk Ketua is often associated with spirituality, detachment, and past life influences. In the 6th house, it may bring a sense of detachment from day-to-day -day problems and a unique perspective on matters related to health, work, and enemies. This could manifest as a person who isn't overly attached to material gains or conflicts. However, it's important to balance this detachment with practicality. The combination of Moon and Ketua in the 6th house could create a complex blend of energies. On one hand, there could be a tendency towards emotional detachment, which might help in dealing with challenges and conflicts in a more composed manner. On the other hand, emotions could be unpredictable or difficult to understand, making it important to work on understanding and managing one's feelings. The sixth house is also associated with health, so there could be a need for careful attention to one's physical and mental well-being. There's a possibility that health matters, especially related to the emotional state, could be somewhat mysterious or challenging to diagnose. As always, remember that astrology is just one lens through which to view a person's life and tendencies. Individual experiences can vary widely, and a complete astrological analysis should take into account the entire birth chart, including the positions of other planets, aspects, and the overall planetary dynamics. For accurate and personalized insights, consulting with a professional astrologer is recommended. Certainly, here's a bit more information about the Moon and Ketua in the 6th house. Moon in the 6th house asterisk. Emotional well-being asterisk the 6th house often deals with challenges and obstacles, and with the moon here, emotional well-being could be linked to the ability to effectively handle these challenges. This placement suggests that emotional satisfaction may come from overcoming difficulties, solving problems, and helping others navigate their issues. Empathy and compassion asterisk the presence of the moon in the house of service can enhance empathy and compassion. This placement might make you more attuned to the needs of others, making you a supportive and caring individual, especially in your interactions with co-workers, employees, and those seeking help. Health Focus Asterisk The moon in the sixth house can emphasize health matters. You might be quite conscious of your well-being, potentially leading you to adopt healthy lifestyle habits. However, there's a need to balance concern for health with not becoming overly anxious about minor issues. Routine and order asterisk the moon represents habits and routines. In the sixth house, it could indicate a need for structured and organized daily routines. Establishing a productive and disciplined approach to work and daily life might be important for your emotional stability. Ketua in the sixth house asterisk. Detachment from challenges asterisk Ketua's presence here can imply a detachment from the difficulties and conflicts of the material world. You might possess an ability to rise above petty issues and disputes, which can be both an advantage and a challenge. While detachment can lead to a peaceful state of mind, it's important not to ignore genuine problems. Unconventional healing asterisk This placement might indicate an inclination towards alternative or unconventional healing methods. You could have an interest in spiritual or holistic approaches to health and well-being. Past life influence asterisk Ketua is often associated with karmic influences from past lives. In the sixth house, this might suggest that some of your challenges and conflicts are remnants of past life actions. Exploring the deeper spiritual lessons behind your present circumstances could be beneficial. 
Service and spirituality asterisk Ketua's influence can sometimes direct a person's focus towards spiritual pursuits and service. You might find satisfaction in helping others, not for personal gain, but as a way of contributing positively to the world. Remember, a comprehensive astrological analysis requires considering the entire birth chart, including the signs, aspects, and the positions of other planets. While these insights provide a general overview, the unique combination of factors in your birth chart will contribute to your individual personality and life experiences. For a detailed and accurate interpretation, it's advisable to consult with a professional astrologer. Certainly, let's delve deeper into the combined effects of the Moon and Ketua in the sixth house. Emotional Dynamics Asterisk. The Moon's presence in the sixth house signifies a strong connection between emotions and service. You may find emotional fulfillment in being of help to others. Your nurturing tendencies are expressed through aiding those in need, whether in your workplace or within your community. However, there could be a tendency to be overly critical or anxious about minor issues, which might require efforts to manage. Detachment and Spirituality Asterisk Ketua's influence in the sixth house enhances your capacity for detachment from mundane concerns. This can manifest positively as an ability to let go of petty conflicts and focus on the bigger picture. There's a potential for spiritual growth through learning to detach from material attachments and identifying with a broader sense of purpose. Health and Healing Asterisk Both the Moon and Ketua in the sixth house bring attention to health matters. You might possess an intuitive understanding of health and healing practices, which could lead you to explore alternative or holistic approaches. It's crucial to strike a balance between being health conscious and not getting overly fixated on every minor ailment. Relationships and Collaborations Asterisk Emotionally, you may form strong connections with those you collaborate with or work alongside. Your nurturing tendencies extend to your interactions with colleagues and employees. However, Ketua's influence might introduce an element of detachment even in close working relationships. You could be supportive yet remain somewhat emotionally distant. Karmic Lessons and Service Asterisk Ketua often brings forward karmic lessons from past lives. In the sixth house, this might involve learning through service and dealing with issues related to health, work, and conflicts. Your experiences in these areas are not just random, they hold spiritual significance and offer opportunities for growth and evolution. Balancing Detachment and Engagement Asterisk One of the key challenges with this placement is striking a balance between detachment and engagement. While detachment can help you stay calm under pressure and rise above minor issues, it's important not to become emotionally distant or apathetic towards important matters. Finding the middle ground between caring deeply and letting go can be a lifelong journey. As you explore these dynamics, keep in mind that astrology provides insights but not absolute predictions. Your personal growth, choices, and life experiences also play a significant role in shaping your path. For a comprehensive and accurate understanding, consider consulting a knowledgeable astrologer who can analyze your entire birth chart in detail. Thank you.